Hi, my name is Bruce Doran. I'm one of the staff scientists that works at Science North, and I want to dispel a myth or misconception about wearing masks. There are people that feel that when they are wearing masks, they're not getting enough oxygen in their system. They feel as if this will actually cut the amount of oxygen they can breathe in. And I'm going to do an experiment with a couple of my colleagues. I have Melissa Rose beside me and I also have our video producer at Renata. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use these little instruments called a pulse oximeter. And what the pulse oximeter allows us to do, it will measure your heartbeat or your heart rate, but also will measure the amount of dissolved oxygen in our blood. The top number that we were gonna see right here, it says 98% right now, it tells me that my blood is saturated 98% with oxygen. So I'm almost at 100% the amount of oxygen that I can actually have in my blood. So we're gonna look at Melissa, what number she's got. Mine's at 97%. All right, and we're gonna see Renata, our producer, where she's at, where are we at? 97. 97%. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna put these away, we're gonna wear our mask, and we're gonna do a very simple activity. We're gonna walk up all the way up into the science center, going up the ramp, and we're gonna measure the amount of oxygen in our blood while we have our mask. And we're gonna see if there's a difference without the mask and with the mask on. All right, so follow me, we're gonna head up. All right, so we're kind of halfway right before the ramp. So my oxygen level, 98%. Just waiting on mine. Wait, wait. 98. And mine is also at 98. High oxygen level, we're good to go. Now we're gonna go up the ramp and we're gonna see what levels we have at the top of the ramp. So we walked all the way up the ramp. We walked about one kilometer. So if you look, I'm at 98%. Are you at Melissa? I'm also at 98%. Renata? Me too, 98. So if your saturation level of oxygen is 95 and above, you're doing great. There's definitely no problem. So what this proves to us is that you're still breathing in enough oxygen for your body to be able to function based on our very simple experiment. Now it is true, if you are doing something much more, more active, you'll be sucking in a little bit more and maybe a little bit more difficult to breathe, but these masks are not cutting the amount of air coming in. So don't be afraid, wear a mask. It's there to protect you and others. And I know it might be slightly uncomfortable for some of you, but it's there to protect everybody around us to help spread, uh, to help prevent the spread of the coronavirus.